Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are back with another episode of Camp Minecraft and in today's episode of Camp Minecraft we go ahead and move it fully into our brand new base and then we go along and find a brand new friend to you know, move in with us. So if you guys do enjoy this episode be sure to hit a like, comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was and as always subscribe with notifications turned on because it really really does help me out and we are flying through 300k right now so if you guys want to subscribe go ahead. But other than that let's just hop straight into the episode. Okay guys so I have been busy we are currently at my base area right near the nether portal and I've been working on my base a little bit on the stream over at twitch.tv forward slash henry live i'm no longer hen just henry live now but yeah i've been working on it a little bit so hey let me show you guys what i've been up to so as you guys can see we've, we've done a bit of work here we have like a nice shipwreck over here like a broken down ship which i guess could technically be the way i got her in the first place you know my ship crashed now i'm on this desolate island you know we've got the skull completed and then we have this whole area around here along with a few palm trees and some like golden rocks and all that good stuff i think it's turned out really really nicely especially for like an entrance way i think it looks really really cool but yeah as we walk along here we have the initial two palm trees right on our left here and then some barrels on here if we want to use it, them for any storage and then we walk through to this I guess lobby area I'm not too sure really what to call this it's kind of just like a more of an entrance way where we can store some more things we currently have our three cows here we need to do something with them maybe make a cow farm or something and then we have a nice waterfall coming down here and have a nice tiny little bridge here. I really love this design of the campfire bridges somebody actually mentioned to it in my stream to do this so I think I think it turned out really nicely and I think it looks actually really really cool and then walking around the side of the boardwalk here you guys can see we have a few more barrels and then we have the actual like the actual base itself really this is where all the buildings are gonna be and where all the main stuff is really gonna be going on so hey let's get into this first house again like this whole area is very pirate themed i've gone for a sea of thieves type style i looked at a lot of buildings in that game and we tried to build a sea of thieves type little tavern here and this is the first of many like i said we're gonna have many 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 little buildings along here actually one that i think we might be building in this episode which could be kind of fun but yeah i'll give you guys a little show around here i have actually moved all of my stuff over from spawn to this area now so we can get started on my spawn bakery at some point here but yeah we have a nice little outdoor area and if we come through the door here you guys can see that we've moved everything in here we have our goods chest with all our diamonds all our camp bucks all that good stuff our enchanted books as well and then we have our, our, our i guess novelty items our 50 percent share of the potato stand the um i wish for lots of spruce logs um wish that we gave biff when he gave us wool just some flowers around and then we come down here where we have all our storage and our armor that i should probably be putting on here actually because i don't want to be getting hurt by nothing anytime soon but yeah we have our bed and then we just have everything kind of somewhat more sorted now than it was before and we also collected a few more music discs from some creepers and stuff so that was pretty much everything that we've done so far and we have our little bell there so i think this place has turned out really really nicely and i'd love to hear what you guys think about it if i if i've done a good job if i should be adding more to it uh if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that i love to read those and i'll have a look through the comments to see what, see what you guys think about the whole place but one thing that happened on the stream which was actually pretty interesting is a zombie villager came along and we've trapped in in here but i was hit by myself so i had to call help from Alex to go get my name tag from spawn bring along an anvil as well so we could actually stop this guy from despawning but if we take a look here we have a Viffle and the reason why his name is Viffle is because he's got that little monocle on his eye and he looks a lot like Biffle to be honest so yeah in this episode we will be going ahead and you know, turning him into a villager and doing some stuff with him hopefully we can get some good trades and all that good stuff but yeah I know it all sounds really really good so far but a lot of you guys are probably asking me right now where is Frankensteed well you see See, something, something not so good really happened with Frankenstein, and that's why he's not here right now with us. And I guess I'll get Nick to go ahead and run the clip here of what happened to Frankenstein live, live on stream. Oh no, Frankenstein's gonna be here. <gasps> no, buddy, 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 come here, come here. What are you doing? No, no, no. Oh, oh my goodness. He's on half a heart. Oh, this is so sketchy right now. This scares me a lot. Will he be safe? He went through directly in the middle. He went through directly in the middle. He should be. So, yeah, guys, Frankenstein has unfortunately passed away. And if we swim over here, you guys can see we have his little grave area over here where he will be missed. I thank Alex for saying some kind words and, you know, placing down his poppy. I really, <laughs> I really appreciate that from him. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, Frankenstein has passed. But don't worry, you know, this is just the beginning of another journey where we will sometime find another horse. Obviously, nobody's going to be able to replace Frankenstein, but we might be able to find maybe a different type of horse um, that, you know, we can we can use instead. And also, we need to get some more pets on the server, I feel like. I feel like we need like, 
like some dogs, some horses, maybe maybe even some cats and stuff. I don't know. You guys let me know what I should get as my first pet. We could do that probably next episode. I think that could be kind of fun. But yeah, it, it's so, so sad what happened to him. I didn't know that he would actually be able to like suffocate in this because I thought I, I spawned him in the middle and they're like two blocks wide. It was my fault and I should have been a lot more careful. But anyway, I guess it's happened and there's nothing I can really do about it. But I think what we're going to be doing now is actually involving this little Mr. Zombie Man over here. And I think it's about time that we turn Viffle into a villager. So if you guys didn't know, you can actually turn zombie villagers back into villagers with a weakness potion and a golden apple. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing right now. Now I just need to remember how exactly we make a weakness potion. Okay, so I have my Bruin stand here. Let's go ahead and just place that there for now. And I actually have one glass bottle. That should be enough. I don't need any more than that for weakness potions, I don't think. And then we need the gunpowder to make it into a splash potion. And I think we need a fermented spider eye. So here, let's get some blaze powder. We'll get a spider eye, some sugar, and then we need a mushroom of some kind. Do I not have any mushroom in here? I don't see a mushroom at all in there. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to find a mushroom real fast. It shouldn't be too hard to find, I don't think. Okay, so we're running over to the swamp over here, and the swamp's actually looking a lot nicer than I last remember. I don't know why it's so green. But here, if we can find a mushroom in here, maybe? I think we need a brown mushroom, and I think that mushroom spawn- yeah, there we go. Okay, mushrooms do spawn in swamps here, so let's go ahead and grab a couple of these, and now if we go like this, like this, and like this, we got ourselves a fermented spider eye. Perfect. Okay, well, hey, let's head back to the base and get this thing working. Okay, so we're back here at the house here, and now if I go ahead and put a fermented spider eye in here- wait, do we do the fermented spider eye first? Maybe? I think so. I believe we do. I believe we do. Hey, let's hope for the best, and if this isn't the right way, then I'm gonna be very, very sorry, but I think- I think we're meant to do it this way. I think this is how you make a weakness potion, if I remember correctly, and then we're also gonna need some gunpowder to make it into a splash potion. So here we go, and this should make us a weakness potion. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we go ahead and add in the gunpowder, and then we need to also make a golden apple. So luckily I have an apple on me. We just need to find ourselves some gold. Okay, so it doesn't actually look like I have enough gold there. Do I have a gold block or anything? I do have a gold block. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and turn that gold block into some ingots and make ourselves a golden apple. And sounds about like our splash potion of weakness is now done. So now let's go ahead and make sure there's no mobs around here. Hello, hello. Well, actually, we should probably go ahead and sleep. I don't think anybody else is on the server right now. So let's just go sleep to make sure no mobs spawn in when we are messing with this villager. Because if we spawn in a villager and then a bunch of zombies spawn, that would be pretty bad. <laughs> but hey, let's go ahead and get some sleeps in and then we can turn this bad boy into a villager. Okay, it's morning time. Hello, Viffle. Hey, Mr. Viffle. Hey, Mr. Viffle, how are you doing today? So what we do is we just go ahead and throw a splash potion of weakness, right click him with the apple. And that sounds about the right thing to do. So now you can see that he's shaking like crazy. And then soon, I'm not too sure how long exactly it's gonna take, but soon he should go ahead and turn back into a villager. But there is actually one thing that I wanted to take care of before he turns into a villager, and that is making sure that we have a lectern. Because I want to turn him into a librarian, which means we're gonna have to have a lectern to turn him into a librarian. So if we take some wood and some slabs, and I think we're gonna need some books as well. Okay, so I have two books here, and we should be able to make another book like this. I think this should be enough. So now if we go like this, oh, wait, 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 we need to make the bookshelf first, and then we go ahead and make it into a lectern like this, I think. There we go, lectern, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now we just gotta wait for Viffle here to go ahead and decide to turn into a villager, and then when he does, um, I, I guess we can get on to the rest of this. And there we go, Zombie Doctor and Viffle has turned back into a villager. Hello there, mister. Um, now I think I gotta go ahead and just- Oh, he's lost his monocle, but if I go ahead and place this really, really quickly here. Uh, there we go. Now you should- You should go ahead and look at the lectern and turn into a librarian, right? Go on, buddy. Go ahead and look at the lectern. I know you want to. Wait, does he need to- Does it need to be facing the other way? Possibly here. Let me try this. Let me try this. You wanna turn into a- You wanna turn into a librarian for me? Do I have to leave so you're not interested in me? What's going on here? Turn into a librarian. Okay, now it looks like he's got his little glasses back and he's turned into a librarian. And it actually looks like our things are pretty good right now. So we have 18 paper for one emerald and one emerald for what? Power one book? Okay, not bad, not bad. I, th I think we need to go ahead and grab ourselves some paper and stuff so we can go ahead and grind through his levels here and see see what his final trades are and stuff. So I think I have a little bit of paper in here somewhere. Yeah, I have a tiny bit, but I think we're gonna have a lot more luck if we go ahead and go to spawn and grab all of the sugarcane from there. So hey, I'm gonna go ahead and plant this sugarcane here for me and then go and grab the rest that we can find at spawn. Okay, so we're hit back at spawn and let's go ahead and grab first of all some sugarcane from the farm here. And now let's go ahead and see what the wandering trader or the camp counselor has to trade here. He has a golden apple for a camp buck. It's all right, and 10 camp bucks for a helmet of knowledge. Okay, okay, I see you, Mr. Camp Counselor. I see you. And while we're here at spawn, we might as well check what all of these shops have done over here. Okay, nothing from this guy, nothing over here, nothing over here. Anything in the chest? 
Okay, we haven't had any payments at the shoe shop. What about treasure trove? Have we had any payments over here at treasure trove? Okay, well, it doesn't look like it either because that name tag is the one that Alex gave me so that I can name Viffle. Uh, looks like we've got some kind of pirate ship over there. I don't, I don't know what's going on over here, but this is what I'm looking for. This is all the good stuff right here, the sugar cane. The little sugar cane farm we have here at spawn. Let me go ahead and help myself to as much of this as I can grab. There we go. Now we have 59 sugar cane. And I really wish that we can make that like zero tick farm that I had last season that just infinitely produced sugar cane because that was like literally infinite emeralds and that was pretty overpowered. But I think we might just have to do it the long way, making an old-fashioned farm here but before we head back to my house I want to go ahead and check out the XP farm and also check out the auction house see what's going on over here okay so it looks like our, our, our XP farm hasn't made any money and what is what is Sidra selling here selling a spectator golden apple for 20 camp bucks I'm not paying 20 back camp bucks for an apple dude that's way too overpriced do we have any more mending books in store actually real quick uh no more mending books in store okay okay well here let's head back to our base and see if our villager might have a mending book because if he does then that's gonna be pretty overpowered Okay, so we're back here at my base with a 59 sugar cane and a crafting table real quick here So I'm gonna go ahead and place down the crafting table and also just fill up as much of this space as we can with a little bit more sugar cane And we'll just go ahead and keep planting more as it all grows But hey, let's go ahead and turn this into paper and see what we can get from this guy Okay, so one emerald two emeralds two emeralds to start off with not too bad Do you want to unlock anything for us there, buddy? Okay, you give us some XP doesn't look like he's gonna unlock anything just yet I wonder if I have some emeralds that I could trade with him. I actually don't have any emeralds. Unfortunately, we only have cow box which we can't turn back into emeralds which would have been kind of cool but no we can't but here I wonder if we can go ahead and make a couple books and then get his book trade because I think that might be a little bit powerful there okay there we go we got two more books now let's see if he wants to do his book trade here for one emerald so we go like this go like this give us your power one book he doesn't even give us that much XP for it are you serious dude are you gonna are you gonna give us a new unlock now maybe you wanna you wanna unlock something new maybe no looks like he's gonna wait for us to fill up his paper trade here. Okay, well here, let me go ahead and wait for more sugarcane to grow and I'll just keep farming it And I'm actually gonna go around and look for some sugarcane in this meantime as well And just bring back as much as I can find and then we'll do some more paper trades with him I guess okay, so I've gone around the whole area here I actually went like around the, the back of the extreme hills as well getting with, like those little rivers and stuff And we managed to get ourselves a stack and 47 sugarcane I think during this whole time we probably have grown a bit more here as well oh, I thought that was a creeper for a second come around the corner But yeah, it looks like we have actually grown a little bit more so here Let me go ahead and grab all of this as well and that will get Get us up to a stack and two stacks on three. That should be quite a lot of paper to trade with this guy. So here, let's go ahead and turn it all into paper for ourselves here. Very, very nice, just like that. And now, Mister, are you ready to unlock your trades? Let's see what we can get. So we can get one there. Are you gonna unlock now? No. Okay. It looks like it looks like you're gonna want us to max it out here, which we will. We'll go ahead and max it out for you there, buddy. Now go ahead and give us a brand new trade. What's it gonna be? Oh, another book. Please be mending. Please be mending. Please be mending. Smite two. Are you serious, dude? Okay. Okay. Well, it looks. Like like he wants some books now and I think that probably gonna be quite good for us because we can go ahead We're actually saving paper here. I think one book for one and that's kind of a steal if you ask me Oh, there's a creeper. There's two creepers. Oh my goodness. Get out of here, dude. That scared me so bad Oh my goodness No <laughs> There's always one accident that happens per episode. Here, I'll fix that later, but here, let's go ahead and get ourselves some leather and make ourselves some books so we can unlock more of this guy's trades. So lucky for me, I actually have a bunch of leather here. So let's go ahead and make maybe like 13 books. Maybe even a few more here. Hey, yeah, let's make a few more. So we made 34 books right now. That should be more than enough that we're gonna need here. So let's see if you're gonna unlock your trades now, mister. So if I give you one of these, you give me an emerald. Very nice. You know, don't mind if I do. And if I give you another one, you give me another emerald. And what if I give you another one? You're gonna give me more emeralds? Very nice, dude. Okay, so now we've done that. You gotta unlock your next one. Come on, come on, level it up, level up. <gasps> okay, he's gold now, he's gold now. Come on, let's see what you got. Oh, are you serious? Not a single book trade right now? Okay, well, Smite 2 and Power 1 aren't the greatest, but maybe he might have something after, after glass here. So here, let's go ahead and get some glass off you, I guess. Why not, dude? Why not, right? And we have filled him up here. What's it gonna be? So we have diamond next, and then I think the last one's emerald. Wait, no, no, it gives emerald, then diamond. So what do you Gonna trade us here, please, please, please. Mending book, mending book. I don't see a single mending book. This is not good. This is not good. And I think the last trade is at.
actually a name tag. So it's not the greatest, but we can always use him for trading in the future. So here, let me go ahead and just grab a bunch of emeralds off you there real fast, mister. And then I guess, I guess we can go ahead and unlock you with the glass trades here and just see what your final stuff actually is here. So by my guess, it is going to be a name tag and yeah, 13 emeralds for one name tag. Okay, not too bad. I guess we have infinite name tags now. Okay, well, unfortunately he doesn't have the mending book, but I think what we're going to go ahead and do is make him his own little library little house over here. I think, yeah, because I want to have like a smelting house. I want to have an enchanting house. I guess this could be a part of the enchanting house since he is the librarian and we could just keep him in there. I think it would be a lot nicer than just having him in the rock over the water over there. <laughs> but yeah, here, give me a little second here. I'm going to probably do it in the same kind of style as this, but use some more bookshelves and stuff on the interior and we'll probably build it like right here. But hey, give me a second. Let me fix this up and uh, get a few more materials and stuff and I will show you guys what I, what I decided to come up with here. Okay, guys, so I've gone ahead and finished the build and I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out. So hey, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But here we go. Three, two, one, and so done. So again, it's a kind of parody build with all of this like platforming underneath and we come up the stairs here and then we're into the little library area. I need to add a door and I actually need to like bring Mr. Where did that end? What are you doing here, Mr. What the? Okay, he's just, he, oh, where the, he's just going all over the place. Look at him up there. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So what I want to do now is actually transport Viffle over to uh, to the library area. And I, I guess the best way to do this to begin with would probably be the boat and then we can transfer him over to the minecart when we get a bit closer. But here we go, here we go. Let's, let's try this and hope for the best here. So Viffle, just be careful, okay? Just be careful here. Come over here. Get in the boat. It's not too hard now. It's not too hard. You just need to go ahead and hop on in the boat here. Come on. I know, I know you can do it, man. I, go on. Buddy, buddy, just get in the boat. Get in the boat. There we go. And there we go. Okay, the first stage is done. We got him in the boat. Now we just need to start bringing him over and then we can set up the minecart that should be the easiest part already. So here, we'll bring him over to this side. Look, we've already made half of the progress right here. So for now, I'm just going to leave him in the boat there and now we need to go ahead and try and make a minecart system that isn't going to roll him all the way down here, but instead push him all the way up. So I need to destroy some of this build that I've just done, but it's all, it's all going to be worth it in the end. It's all going to be worth it in the end here. So let's go ahead and make this track going across here. And I wonder if we're actually gonna be able to bring him up here coming across some issues already here But if we go like that and then like that that should fix it There we go, and I'm actually out of rails right there. Oh my god. This better be enough This better be enough. Otherwise I have to go make some new rails mister But hey, you go and get out of the water here and get in this minecart here mister. Hey, hey buddy. Hey buddy Oh wait, wait, are you just gonna are you gonna do all the hard work for me? Here, go, keep climbing, buddy. Keep climbing. All the way up, all the way up. Wait, imagine he just walks straight in for me. Hold on. This could be a lot easier than I thought it was actually gonna be. You just wanna come in here. You, go, I'll, I'll put your lectern right here. Wait, you've already got a lectern here. Is that why he's going over here? Viffle, just go ahead and walk a little bit further for me there, buddy. Go on. I know you can do it. Just go on inside. Don't fall down. Wait, we might have not even needed the minecart and stuff to begin with here. So here, if we just go ahead and push him in, go on. And now he's inside. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, um, <laughs> I wasn't actually prepared for this but here if we get him round the back side here uh, come on buddy hop over hop over hop over get in there get in there i just need to push him inside and i think we're good i don't think he can actually hop over there because this counts as like a block and they're actually two blocks tall so they wouldn't actually be able to get under there so that was actually a lot easier than i thought it would be at all so we don't actually need any of this here let me go ahead and get rid of all of this that we don't need and i guess viffle is happy in his new home here that was a lot easier than i thought it would be again anyway here let's go ahead and grab a door and finish this thing off. Okay, so now one more thing I want to do is quickly replace this with that. So that's all equal. Did you look pretty good here in your little new home? And then we go ahead and place this door right here. And there we go. Your brand new home, Viffle. Very, very nice. Well, if you guys do like how it turned out, and if you guys did enjoy this episode, please give it a like and comment down below what I should do in the next one. We have expanded this new home more and more and more. We have our starter home. We have the villager hideout, which actually, I forgot one piece that I want to show you of this build, guys. So if I actually go around to the right here. You guys can see we have this area, which is going to be room for expansion when we get more villages and all that kind of stuff. We'll have like a whole breeding center down there and stuff. So this will be the villager building and then we'll have like an enchant building, maybe a smeltery building. We've got a lot more plans for this place. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this episode and like how it turned out, then give me a like and comment down below what I should do in the next one. And as always, if you guys are new, go ahead and hit that sub button because it does really, really help out and we are flying through 300k right now. But other than that, I will see you guys all again next time. Peace.